Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sam and you are watching Gaming Wise. Today we are going to talk about some new updates of upcoming Android smartphones and their application. So let's start off. The first update comes from Micromax Bharat Fire reportedly launching for Rs 6999 on December 1st. According to the source, the main highlight of this handset would be its briefly 5000 mAh battery with the support of reverse charging. This means that if you need to be, the user can charge their other devices using the Bharat Fi. Moreover, the brand claims that the battery can deliver 27 hours of talk time and last up to 500 hours on standby. Moving on to other specs, clad of polycarbonate body, the Bharat 5 comes with a 5.2 inch display and resolution of 1280 into 720 pixels. On performance front, there is a 64 bit Megatech MT6737 quad core processor clocked at 1.3 GHz mated to a gig of RAM. There is also 16 GB storage on board, which can further expand it to 32 GB using a micro SD card for imaging. There are 5 megapixel snappers on both front and rear panels with f2.2 aperture. It runs on Android 7.1.1 Nougat operating system out of the box and comes with the support of 22 regional languages which just bring the sibling in Bharat series. On the connectivity front we have got 4G volt, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, USB, 3.5 mm jack and a micro USB 2.0 port. The next update comes from Microsoft Edge updates dark theme and password syncing. Seemingly out of nowhere, Microsoft announced last month that it would bring the Edge browser to Android and iOS. The Android version went live a week later and despite having limited functionality at first, it has the basic rights. Microsoft has started to fill the feature gaps with the latest update, a dark theme and password syncing. The main reason Microsoft is making Edge up for mobile is to giving existing Edge users a seamless workflow across all their devices. It was only a matter of time before the ability to sync password was added and now it's here. When you set up an app, you are giving an option to log with a Microsoft account. You can also log in from another setting page. He and other new features is the dark theme which can be enabled from the settings. Here are a few minor bugs like articles on the new tab page still having white background but still work fine for the most of the part. There are no automatic dark modes yet but I wouldn't be surprised if that were added later. The next update comes from Samsung that says it can boost battery with no balls. Full power just in 12 minutes. A new battery material could allow you to recharge your phone battery in just 12 minutes as says Samsung. It could also help your phone last much longer off a single charge. What's more, Samsung says that battery based on material could also be perfect for electric vehicles. The next update comes from Xiaomi Teshka smartphone to go official tomorrow. The expected price is approximately 6000 rupees in Xiaomi's home market. Perhaps the highlight for this phone is 3000 mAh battery claiming that it offers 8 day of usage. Since it has an entry level smartphone, it's no surprise to see a 5 inch 720p HD display, Snapdragon 425 processor, 2GB RAM, 16GB internal storage, micro SD card support up to 128GB, and a hybrid SIM slot. The phone also comes with a 13 megapixel of rear facing camera and 5 megapixel front facing shooter. It runs on Xiaomi's native MIUI 9, which is based on Android Nougat. The last update comes from WhatsApp iOS v2.17.81 that lets user to update and use WhatsApp to watch YouTube videos within the app. WhatsApp has rolled out a new update for iOS user that let user play videos of YouTube within the messaging app. The update will allow user to play video picture in picture mode that users can navigate through another chats while watching these videos. Thank you guys for taking a look at this video, subscribe my channel to get the latest gaming related stuff and technical gadgets as soon as possible. Thank you guys for supporting me, we will meet soon in the next video. Till then, 
Gaming Wine, signing off.